My goal for you is to have a really good time and learn the four rules of responsible firearms handling. Um, the four rules are, uh, we always want to point the gun in a safe direction. Okay, what is a safe direction? It's away uh, uh, from people, pets, things we cannot replace, okay? So we want to keep it like 45 degrees away from our body, away from our face, away from other people. Uh, next is we want our finger off the trigger, so I'm going to demonstrate with this guy. We want our finger off the trigger until we're up on target and have made the decision to shoot. Uh, next is we always want to treat every firearm as if it is real and loaded. Nothing here is real, nothing is loaded, there's no live ammunition, there's no live firearms. But we're still going to treat them as such, okay? They're not toys. And then fourth, we always want to know what is in front of and beyond, in front of, at, and beyond our target. One of the reasons we chose this location is because it's underground. Okay, so is up a safe direction? No. No, is down a safe direction? Well, so if I point it at 45 degrees away from my body and down, is that a safe direction? Well, it, it, it depends because it could ricochet off the ground and... It's true. It's true. So it's, it's, it's important that you're thinking like that. For the purposes of firearms and such, we're at a point where we're, we're making... Well, it, I has, it has to go somewhere, so I guess down is the best thing you can find. Right, and that's also why we choose ammunition that stops. Okay. We don't want to be defending ourselves with ammunition that's designed for range, and we don't want to be on the range, with, well, it doesn't make a difference. If we're on the range with ammunition designed to defend ourselves, that's okay. okay. Um, but yes, so we're, we're getting the best possible outcome by pointing it away from our body in the best, safe, in the, in the most safe direction. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. For someone to get hurt, all, all four rules have to be thrown out the window. Okay. There's no way for someone to get hurt, but I, I kept my finger off the trigger. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. um, okay, so um, let's have you use this guy. I'm gonna come over on this side of you. Um, so make a finger gun with your hand. Okay, you're gonna turn your right hand or your left hand? All right. Right, okay. Um, finger gun with your hand, turn over on its side. Okay, now we're gonna pluck, pluck, and then. Yeah, you got a little ahead of ourselves, but that's okay. okay. Next, you're gonna wait with your left hand. You're gonna grab the top of the slide. Where's the slide? The slide is this red portion here, over here is that blue portion. So with, the, with your left hand, you're gonna grab the top of the oh, slide. Oh, the left hand top, top of Yes. Slide. Yeah, we don't wanna grab by the muzzle. Okay, good. So grab, you can grab more towards the back. Great, now hold the gun with your left hand, wave with your right. Now, this is the web of your hand, this is the tang of the gun. Good. We want web to tang, finger off the trigger. Now, turn, even, even though we're close to Philly, we're not that close. Okay. Turn the gun right side up. Okay. Awesome. Thumb points forward. Thumb points forward? Yes. Okay. Excellent. And now, can we shoot the gun with one hand? We can, but we shouldn't. Fair enough. We can, but we shouldn't. So, in real life, it's very realistic that we're going to be doing a lot with this left hand. Okay. So, opening doors, on the phone with law enforcement, mm -hmm. maybe, you know, like if you were to stop short with your car, and someone's in the passenger seat, what do you do? Hand out. Very realistic. So, can we do work with one hand? Yes, but it's better if we have two. So, we take our four fingers, place them over three fingers. Awesome. And then thumbs point forward. So, point at the target with your thumb. This thumb. Oh, this thumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you see this empty space here I've created? Uh, yeah, this is the empty space here. That's our pocket. We want palm to pocket. Excellent. Thumbs point forward. Now, I want your thumb. You see, so finger off the trigger. Your finger, your thumb's here. That's okay. This is remember, this is a consequence-free learning environment. <laughs> okay. So any mistake you make yeah. is a teachable moment, right, 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 right. as opposed to you're out of here, okay. right? Sort of unrealistic right, to right, expect right, right. you to do everything right while I'm right. teaching you. Right. So where your fingernail is here, I want this fingernail to be directly opposed to it. So over here, yeah. And then uh, palm to pocket. Yes, you, yes. So you want as much of your the skin of your hand okay. on the gun as possible. Okay. And then this finger here is going to go up against Which the trigger water? guard. This finger here. Go, go, go where? It's going to go up against the trigger guard. The trigger guard is what covers the trigger. Oh, okay. All right. All right. So we want something like this. Okay. This thing's heavy. It does get heavy. So I'm just going to smoosh your hand like that. Great. I'm going to close that finger there. All right. I'm going to take a quick picture. Okay, so now just go ahead and... It's like a yoga position. Yeah. Now this is a resting position. Okay. okay. 
which means that the gun's lower than your heart. So as you extend the gun and you aim, um, you're going to get shakes. The gun's going to get heavier, and now you're out of extension. So it's important to, you know, bring it back. So if you, if you, if you don't want to be shooting like this, you want to be shooting like this? No, no, no. You want to be shooting like that? You want to be shooting like this. Okay, right, okay. But there are, we're not always shooting when we have fire. That's what you're saying. <laughs> if I asked you to hold a oh, okay, so no, weight up here, so, so you're going to hold it like this until it's time to shoot it. Right. Imagine bad guy breaks into your house. Right. And right. you say, get on the ground, drop the crowbar. And he does it. You're like, wow, that's kind of unexpected. Now what are you going to do? You gotta hold that person at gunpoint gotcha. for the ten minutes it takes for Lomar and the police department. So, so I, can, to go. I can hold them at gunpoint for, for the rest of the position. Right, right, and you can shoot from here too. Okay, as long as your hand eye coordination is gotcha. reasonable, you're 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 in the ballpark there. Okay. As opposed to if you're out here, you're gonna get the shake. Gotcha. Okay. It's gonna be possible. Alright, so go ahead and set her down. Awesome. Great. Now I'm walking in front of the guns to turn off. Uh, the lights. So that's how I calibrated the simulator. Now I walked in front of the firearms. Is that safe? Yeah. Why? Um, just intuitively seems to be that it's not safe to walk in front of a, of a loaded gun. Right. It's not safe because you're here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>